Happy New Year and welcome to the first installment of the Chronic Kidney Disease Chronicles. My name is Chadwick Wade and I am the AVP for Renal Care 360. Today we will be discussing New Year's resolutions that patients that suffer from chronic kidney disease can implement to help them deliver better lifestyle in 2024. First up on that list is regular medical checkups. It's very important that you go see your primary care provider and nephrologist every four to six weeks. Have them monitor your kidney function and also ask relevant questions. Two, adherence to medication. Commit to taking your prescribed medications daily. The meds don't work if you don't take them. If you have a problem remembering, set reminders and also use pill organizers. Next up is a balanced diet. Get with a renal dietitian to help you develop a diet that consists of low phosphorus, low sodium and low potassium type foods. Also ask about appropriate protein intake as well. Next up is hydration maintenance. Stay adequately hydrated by maintaining the appropriate amounts of water daily. Some of you are on fluid restrictions, so you need to talk to your physician to set what your regimen should be. Regular exercise is next. Engage in regular physical activity from 30 minutes to an hour daily. Regular exercise not only helps improve kidney function, it also helps your overall health. Next up is stress management. Believe it or not, stress negatively affects the body, but for patients that suffer from chronic kidney disease, it really affects your kidney function. Develop stress relieving techniques such as yoga and meditation in order to help you relieve the stress. Next up on the list, quit smoking and quit having excessive alcohol intake. Both of those things are speeding up the, your kidney decline tenfold. Make sure that you get into a plan to stop smoking today and stop excessively drinking alcohol. Next up, monitor your blood pressure and your blood sugar levels daily. This is important because it helps you see what's going on with your body. And whenever something's out of whack, you can address it immediately instead of waiting. Those days that you feel really bad and don't know why you're lethargic, it's probably because your blood pressure is up or your blood sugar is low. Next up, educate yourself. There are plenty of articles out on Google. Uh, you can talk to your physician, healthcare professionals about chronic kidney disease. There's so many things that you could be doing yourself to help maintain your kidney function and slow down the progression of chronic kidney disease. Next up, I, I recommend that you get with a support network, meaning patients that also are suffering from chronic kidney disease. Y'all sit down, whether it's weekly, bi-weekly or monthly, discuss what's going on, what helps you and your healthy lifestyle and share ideas with each other. Next up, maintaining a consistent sleep schedule. That's very important to all of us, but to patients that suffer from chronic kidney disease, it's very important. Your body does not adequately function. Your kidneys will not adequately function if you're not sleeping correctly. Develop good, healthy sleep patterns. And last but not least, regular dental care. Believe it or not, you should go to the dentist twice a year. And if you're not going, that plaque buildup is getting in your bloodstream and that is negatively affecting your body as well as your kidneys. If you want to reach out to me, please redo so and I can get with your physician and help partner them with a nephrologist or with the PCP. Uh, what we do here at Renal Care 360 is try to prevent you from going on dialysis instead of waiting till you go on dialysis. I hope you enjoyed this message today. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks.